everybody. Today we're going to practice some of our sounds. At least you look so excited. We're going to practice some of our sounds for a, uh, h, huh, and j. And we're also going to practice writing and tracing these letters. So for those of you who just started writing, it might feel a little bit challenging, but that's okay. We'll do it together. I'm going to show you the worksheet. It's right here. Um, there are lots of pages to this worksheet. Some of them just have pictures and some of them have writing. Some of them just have pictures and some of them have writing. We're going to start by doing all of the pictures first. And then after we do the pictures, we're going to practice the writing. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to start. All right. So at the top of the page, we're going to practice writing our name. So choose your favorite color and let's practice writing our names. Once you're done writing your names, we're going to trace these letter H, these letter H. Yes, Alicia? You muted yourself, Alicia. Um, I want to tell you something that I, I, I don't know where my H is. You don't know where your H is? That's okay. You can just follow with us on the screen, okay? Okay. Okay. So we're going to start. These H's aren't in cursive. These are in print. But we're going to practice tracing them so that we can practice in cursive and in print. The letter H makes the ha, ha sound. Now the rules of this game is that we're only going to circle the things that start with the ha, ha sound. So let's see if we can name these objects. If they start with the ha sound, that means that we get to circle them. Caroline, do you know what this is? How? House, does that start with the h, h sound? Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and circle it. Let's see, Ansley, do you know what this is? A bird. A bird, does that start with the h, h sound? Yes. It starts the b, b sound, not the h, h sound. So we don't circle this one. Let's try the next picture. Levi, what is this picture? H, h, hand. H, h, hand. Does it start with the h, h? Yes. Then yes. we're going to circle it. Yes, Levi showed me his hand. We all can show each other our hands. Let's see. Katie, do you know what this is? Um, um. This is a mitt. Can you say mitt? Mitt. Does this mitt start with a ha huh, ha? Huh? Um, yes. Mitt starts with the ma ma, right? Not the ha huh, ha. Huh. So should we circle it? No. No, we don't need to circle it. Let's see, Charlotte, what is this? Ha, ha, ha. Does it start with the ha, ha? So do we circle it? Yes, let's circle it together. Evelyn McKay, would you like to tell us what this animal is? No. No? All right, we'll look later if you'd like to help. Let's see, little Grace, can you tell me what animal this is? Ha. This is a horse. horse. Does a horse start with ha, ha? Yeah. Yep. So we can go ahead and circle the horse. Let's see. Alicia, do you know what kind of tool this is? Hammer. Hammer. Does hammer start with ha, ha? Yeah. Yeah, so let's circle it. 
Hmm. Elise, do you know what kind of musical instrument this is? Violin. It's a violin. Does violin start with ha ha? Yeah. No, does I think it starts with v. Yeah. Does it start with ha ha or v? V. V. So we don't circle it because it doesn't start with ha ha. Let's see. Grace, big Grace, can you tell me what this is? Um, a golf club thing. It's a golf almost club. a golf club, but we use this for a sport that's played on the ice. Hockey. Hockey. Does hockey stick start with ha ha? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and circle this hockey stick. Let's see. Alicia from Casa Juan, can you tell me what this is? Turtle. A turtle. Alicia from Casa Juan, does turtle start with ha ha or t t? <laughs> it starts with t t, so we don't need to circle it. Let's see. Van, I haven't called on you yet. I think Van is busy right now. Is he there? Hi, uh, Van. Yeah. Van, what is this? What is that soft uh, stuff that grows on your head? I hair. Hair. Does hair start with ha ha? Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and circle hair. And the last one is a yeah, yeah, yo yo. We don't need to circle the yo yo. Once we finish this, we're not going to color it yet. We're going to color it at the very end. So I'm gonna find the next page with pictures. But first, I'm going to trace my ha ha, right? We start with the pictures and then we do the letters right after. So I'm going to trace it first in cursive. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. And we're going to practice all together. So at the top, it shows you numbers, which direction we go. One, two, three. We start at one and we make a line. And then we make a line for number two, but we leave our pencil on the paper. And we draw a little loop. This is an uppercase ha ha, a big ha. It might feel a little bit challenging. There are lots of dots for us to practice on here. So go ahead and trace each one. If writing still feels very, very challenging, just trace the ones with the dots and do your best, right? So let's see if we can write our own ha. And trace all of the dots. And if you've practiced writing before, or even if you just want to try, you can trace it by yourself without the dots. See if you can fill up the whole line. If you feel confused, you can go back to the top and you can trace the really big one again. Then you can practice the lowercase ha. We're just going to practice a few of them. You might not finish writing all of them. Before we go on to the next letter, because I want you to still have some to practice after we finish our lesson. At the very bottom of the page, there are words that you can practice writing. 
If you feel really confident with your writing, you can practice these words down here. You can work on a few more letters. I'm gonna go and I'm going to find the next picture page. It's the J, J page. So you can take a break from writing your huh huh when you're ready and we'll play the next game. Remember, there should be some letters left for you to trace and write so you can practice after the lesson. The really long page of writing and your hand might get tired when doing the whole thing. So I want to make sure we take some breaks. When you get to the page with the J, J, make sure you write your name at the top for practice. And you can even trace the J, the J's while we're waiting. All right, let's see who can tell me what this picture is right here. Little Grease, can you tell me what this is? I don't know. Jacket. It's jacket. Does jacket start with j, j? Yeah. Yeah, so let's all circle our jackets. Let's see, Evelyn McKay, would you like to volunteer? You don't want to volunteer? Sounds good. I just always like to ask. Let's see, Ansley, what is this? A robot. A robot. Does robot start with j, j? Yeah. No. What about jet? Does jet start with j, j? Yeah. Let's circle our jet. Let's see. Big Grace, can you tell me what this is? What are these? Um, jewel is my favorite. Jewels. Did jewels start with j, j? Yeah. So let's circle our jewelry with all of its jewels. Now let's see. Elise, what's this one? Elise, what's this one? Elise, look at the computer screen. I think Elise is trying to circle them right now. Let's see. Ansley, what's this one? A jet. A jellyfish. Let's circle our jellyfish. Hi, Levi. Yeah. Levi, what's this one? Book, book, book. Book, book, book. That doesn't start with j, j. Hmm. Let's see, Van, Van, what is um, this? Is this lemonade? Yeah. L lemonade, but it's also kind of j j juice. Yes, juice. Juice, so let's circle the j j juice. Yeah, yeah. That could be orange juice too. Let's see, Alicia from Casa One. What is this one? Is this a moose, Alicia? Yeah, we don't need to circle the moose. We also don't need to circle the egg. What about this pumpkin? Charlotte, does pumpkin start with p, p? Or does pumpkin start with p? Huh? Yeah, it starts with puh, huh? but that's not ja, ja, so we don't need to circle it. 
We can circle our jar. And we don't need to circle our lion. I'll give you a moment to put all the circles. Yes, Grace? But it has poked toes on it, so it's a jack-o'-lantern. It is a jack-o'-lantern. It's a pumpkin, and it has a jack-o'-lantern. If you'd like to circle for jack-o'-lantern, you can for J. You can choose oh, a, a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern. I choose a jack-o'-lantern. You choose a jack-o'-lantern, then we can circle yeah. it together. Okay. And I also see a dog by you. Yes, my dog, he wants to be part of our lesson. He wants to learn, too. He does want to learn. Yes, Levi? Uh, I circled everything on my page. You circled everything on your page? Perfect. Look. Wow, you're working so hard, Levi. All right, I think we're ready to move on to writing our j j. Let's go up here, and we're going to trace the j, j for jellyfish. Remember, we're not going to do the whole thing. We're just going to practice writing some of them. That way, you have some to practice for later. The big j, j is like two loops. The little j, j is just one loop with a dot at the top. When you're done tracing the really big ones, you can practice tracing the smaller ones. But remember, we're not going to try to do all of them right now because then your hand might get too tired for the next part. So do your best and try to do some of them. At the bottom, we have the word jellyfish. You can practice writing that all by yourself. All right, I'll give you just a moment to catch up with the letters, and then we'll move on to the next picture. All right, it looks like everybody's worked on some of the letters. While you keep working, I'm going to go to the next picture. When you get to the last picture page, yes, Levi? Uh, I'm drinking some watermelon juice. Oh, watermelon juice sounds really refreshing. That's really cold. Oh, that's Super good. Cold. That's good. All right, this page looks just a little bit different. We're going to circle the sounds that have the U sound. Let's see. Alicia, what is this? Um, umbrella, I think. Umbrella. And Elise, what is this? A duck. It's a bird. 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 And Caroline, what is this? Tree. So we have umbrella, bird, and tree. Big Grace, which one has the uh? A uh, sound, the umbrella, the bird, or the tree? Umbrella. The umbrella. The duck is holding the umbrella. All right, the next one, we have some soap. We have some shampoo. 
And we have a tub. Soap, shampoo, tub. Caroline, which one has the uh sound in it? Tub. Tub. Everybody, let's circle this tub together. The last one is nest, nut, and bug. Nest, nut, and bug. There are two pictures here that have the uh sound. Ansley, does nest have the uh sound? Yes. No, nest doesn't, but does nut have the uh sound? Uh-huh. Yeah. Does bug have the uh sound? Yeah. So go ahead and circle all the ones that have the uh sound. Yes, Levi? I'm not sure that was a question. All right, when you're done circling, we're gonna go and we're gonna find the writing page for the uh, uh sound. For this one, we can't see that one. That one's too dark. It's like a big scoop. The big one, the uppercase one, and the little one, the lowercase one, look almost the same. Go ahead and trace those big letters. And then we'll also trace the small letters, the ones with the dots. Remember, you don't have to feel rushed to do this work. You have lots of time at home when you can practice your writing. You don't have to do the whole thing during our lesson. At the bottom of the page is the word umbrella. Ah, uh, umbrella. So you can trace that word and then color the picture. Yes, Alicia? Um, can I see your dog? Can you see my dog? Yeah. At the end, once we finish our writing, when I say bye, I'll let you see my dog. Okay. Okay. All right, friends, it's just about time for us to go for the day. And we finished our writing. You can keep practicing at home. Moose, say bye. Speak. Speak. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to. There we go. Speak. All right, he says bye. Say bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 bye.